right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Platinum Mike Perry and Tim Means. It should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face. He pushes forward. He gets to the clinch. Loves the single leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip, getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 30 wins, 12 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Tim Dirty Bird Means. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, six losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Orlando, Florida, Mike Platinum Perry! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Ludwig. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Round one, you are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Just missed with the left there. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Means. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Perry gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, beautiful hook. Take down. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Means gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if we can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. 
timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Three minutes now to go in this one. Big punch land. Boom. Shows him the left and then follows it up with the right. Nice one-two punch there by Perry. It's a good right hand right there. Job working hard, posting, and getting back up. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. That strike blocked by Perry. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to chase that finish down now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Means ground and pound from half guard now. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You've got to be careful. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Perry. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready? You ready? Round two on the way. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Means his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Means gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Liver kick. Trying to connect now with the overhand left. No good. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Meeks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice punch there by Meeks. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Try to establish that jab. Okay, 
Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice shot, and fire. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. Oh, he wasn't having it. Big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break his? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Back mount now. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat, all weight to the opponent. Oh man, that was slick. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Just out of range with the big right hand. Great punch landed with so much power. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Well, he's got the longer reach and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. And he landed the right hand there. Back and forth we go. And there's the shot, and there's the land. Nice takedown there by Means. Both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just out of range with that right hand. That was a fuzzy Whoa! leg. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. All right, has the guard closed here. Plans a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by me. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Perry. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and gotta be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in a while. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time, you're getting dragged to the floor constantly. You're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. And we are back for our third and final round. Nice punch, man. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, single collar tie here. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Means his lower jaw very swollen now. Time wow! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. 
Ray's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, he postured up there, nicely done. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Perry gets up, he is back on the feet here. Changes his stance, you'll see a lot of this from this fighter. There was a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 24 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mike Wattheim all right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. 